G'day guys, my name's Josh, yo, kid call me Zawoodle, and welcome back to Days Gone, the new, well, not so new I suppose, new to PC and new to Steam, zombie apocalypse game, where I'm picking up basically exactly where I left off yesterday, the sun is beaming through the windows, old Manny Potato over here is getting real upset at the fact his hand now looks like a pretty worn out leather glove, Probably shouldn't have picked a fight with three cannibals then, dude. That's really your own problem. But hey, you rest up and lick your wounds. or probably don't actually might get infected. And I'll go out and do all the things that I need to do to keep us, you and me, and everyone else we find, alive. I have now switched to using a controller instead of using the keyboard and mouse because this game was built for the PlayStation back in the day. So I feel like... Oh, all right. Sorry. I feel like um, using a controller for it is probably a better way to go about it than using the keyboard. It's a little bit janky with the mouse control. So we'll go with this one instead and see if this is any better. New items in there. I've got my silenced 9mm. All right. Cool bananas. And no. Can you just... Does that like automatically swap back to the middle? That's a bit annoying. And some crossbows. All right. Well, how about we take a crossbow then? That works for me. Thank you very much. Continue. Do I have to get, like, bolts out of the ammo chests? Maybe. Maybe not. All right. Well, let's get out and going then. So my goal for today is apparently to go back. I need to get my bike back that I stashed in a bush way back when. And just continue on our journey through this desolate yeah, wasteland. Your arm's not going to be fine. Yeah, it will. It'll be fine. Look, Something if I learn anything from the zombie media, given, you know, basically The Walking Dead, find me a hatchet and I'll lop it off, then we'll be fine. You know, we can use this like a lure. If the zombies start attacking, we can yeet the, like, well-cooked and nicely seared arm off into the distance. They can chase that, we can get away. It's the perfect trap, like a lizard dropping its tail. It's the best idea possible. I'm not taking Boozer's bike. I gotta get to mine before it gets dark. Well... Listen, the fastest way to get to your bike is to take bruises. As you said, his arm's not going to get better. He hardly can use that anymore. I don't know if you can ride a motorcycle one-handed or if, like, you got to, like, twist the, th the handlebars, right, to use the throttle. So, like, I feel like if you lost your throttle hand, you'd be in a little bit of issues. What's up? I just saw someone sneaking around the safe house. I got him. What's he doing? Well, I don't know if I knew. I would have told you already. I see if there's some more. All right, that's fine. I've got my new super sweet, super stealthy crossbow. I'm more than willing to put a stick through his eyelid. Come on, bud. Where are you? Where are you? Yeah, I see you. I see you down there. Come on, get back here. Look, I've got the super, uh, super duper spidey sense. I can track you like Ezio. We're going to go full Assassin's Creed and kill you on top of Florence. There is another couple of them down, yeah, down by the river. Jeez, you don't, I mean, if you're going to go scout out someone's safe house, it's just at the top of the hill. You probably want to put your camp a little bit further away. There's a stone throw away. Uh, okay, let's go this way. Let's try and go super duper stealthy boys through the bushes up onto the ledge. I doubt I can aerial assassinate, but we might try. We're using stealth weapons. Hold B. Yep, that's fine. Uh, well, I probably want to kill him because they're currently looking at each other. They're deep in like a soul binding conversation, making deep eye contact. So I'll leave you guys alive for the moment and skirt around this way. Try and pick off the stragglers out the outside before I take care of those two. I'm going back to the top because apparently the game just told me that I can like tag people with my binos. So I'll mark you, I'll mark you. All right, they're gonna kill us when it gets dark. I don't think they're gonna have the chance though. Can I can I zoom with this? Uh, let's stick to zoom. Okay, there we go. That one there. Okay, anyone else? It may just be them. Oh, no, there we go. And a fourth. Nice. All right, let's get down there. Let's get down there and have a squeeze of what we can find. There's lots of goop between their ears, and I'd very much like to deprive them of. Uh, for no reason other than I just want to. You know? I'm just I'm just picking about who lives in my foothills. No, I've got my camp upstairs. You can't be trundling about. It caused me issues down here as well. I could just go with the crossbow and try and shoot some, but I'm going to try and go with the old boot knife, because apparently it's terrible, but I wouldn't mind getting in and just... Uh-oh. There we go. Why is stealth attack? I'm glad I saw the icon before it was too late. Uh, I'll come back for you in a moment. I'd very much like to have a rifle. However, probably not the best idea right this very second. Sneak around this way. No, nope, you're fine. You're fine. Don't mind me. You can just watch over your friends. Take your last look at all your buddies. Oh, Jesus. I think you heard my blade go through your ear. That was way too vicious. Ah, and another gun as well. Although it's kind of broken. All right. I see that's what it means when it's red. Red gun means bad gun. That seems to make the most sense to me. There is a Zomberini out there. Look at him. Just jiggling about on the horizon. If I could somehow lure him over this way and like get, try and get the zombie to come fuck up these two, then that would be good. 
Nah, all right, going the other way. All right, that's fine. I do want to use the crossbow at some point, though. So he's walking away that way. Is it like a headshot as an insta -kill? I have no idea what the drop on a bow is going to be like. So let's aim at the top of the head, just in case. And okay. hit him in the back of the okay. neck, apparently. And then completely whiffed the second one. Not great, Josh. Not particularly great. You were so good with the pistol the other day, they've completely whiffed it. Easy. That's right. They're a little bit scared. They're a little bit worried. As you probably would be if you copped a stick through the back of the noggin. Let's hide over here for a second. Just let them scamper about. We'll get them in a tick. They're slowly coming up the hill, taking over behind a tree together. That's a bit cute. Well, unfortunately for you, though. <laughs> that was a better shot. So you get nice and close to them. You can actually hit them where you want to. Where you going, bud? Where you going, bud? Anywhere fun? Can I come too? Yeah, nah, don't worry about where you're going. I don't want to be. It's called the afterlife. I'm more than happy in this one. It may be an apocalypse, but it's better than where you're headed. Cross the river sticks with you. Someone's here. Someone is here, but you just wait. It's fine. You're okay. Can I kill this guy? Yes, I can. Do you reckon his mate's going to notice me just like <laughs> doing that to him right next to him? Can I... Wait, how do I... Now I'm using controller. How do I use my melee stuff again? I don't even bloody remember. Quick. Get off me, Jigglypuff. Get off me, Jigglypuff. Go away, please. Okay, that's roll. Hang on. I need to check the controls. I've got to have a melee. All right, I figured it out. I have to tap Y to pull out. No, that's my pistol. Can I pull out my baseball bat, please? <laughs> Look, we'll just go ring a ring of rosy for a little while. I figure out how the hell to pull out my baseball bat. What about this one? Like that one. There you go. There you go. Not really the, um... Shit, ow. Not really the easiest way to get that sorted, but that's right. We'll figure it out in the end. Come on. Come here. Come here. Huh? Ah, there we go. There we go. Look, if you clown about enough, eventually Old Man Potato will leave you alive long enough to figure out your shit. Not clever, Josh. Not bloody clever. Put some health on. Zombie boy's still out there. Oh, man. So there's a, there has to be a faster way for me to switch to my melee weapon, right? There has to be an easier way. So, like, do I want to take a rifle? Does that go in place of my... No? Okay, I can carry three weapons on my back. That's nice for me. Quick swap guns. Thank you. I just went and learned how to do that. Unfortunately, there's no quick swap to baseball bat, which is what I really needed in that instance. All right. Nice. I'm okay with this. I'll take, I'll take all the extra weapons you want me to. You want to give me good things to go bonk with? I'll go bonk with them. I'm going to try and go as the crow flies. There's a bunch of zombies all around me. Oh, sorry. Freakers. That's what they're called, aren't they? I don't know. Every, like, every zombie game or every movie has, like, a different name for zombies because I can't call them a zombie. So I come up with other stupid names for them. I was going to call them zombies. Bad weather can affect your enemies. Oh, shit. one right there. If it's a sea in here... All right, nice. So I'm glad it's raining all the time. Turns out being moist is a good thing. Let's just cruise about this way. Easy does it. I mean, like, I've been playing Project Zombie for so long, I'm kind of in the mindset of avoiding contact at as many costs as I can. I'm not sure if that's how I should be playing this game, but it's how I'm going at the moment. My gut feeling is telling me... Ooh. Fire axe. Damage lots, durability less. Can I just... Oh, there's a baseball bat back at home, actually. Not sure, oh, it's only 40% anyway. Okay. Fire Axe is the way to go. I'm getting kind of the feeling that I'm about to come up like over a ridge and there's going to be just zombies everywhere all around my bike. And what's we'll that booster's bike after all anyway, despite my best efforts to try and leave the one-armed man with all of his vehicular mobility. Nope, no one. We're all good. Just on top of a cliff. I wouldn't really call that good then, would I? How do I get down? Do I go back the long way? Damn it, come on, just jump. I'm sure you'll be fine. This looks like the place. That looks like the bushes that used to have my bike, and my bike is gone. Cool. Cool bloody bananas. So all zombies, no bike, came all this way for bloody nothing. This is it. This is what oh, Deacon going to be mad. Deacon going to be real bloody mad. Please just don't go to a cutscene, though. Anything but a cutscene. Ah, there we go. Yeah. Nah, cutscene. Of course. Of course it's bloody cutscene. Hey, you're from Copeland's camp? Where the hell is my bike? Oh, hey, we chase him or we kill him? I Can I just go? Where there. is my I'm pistol? Easy. Easy. Damn it. I want to shoot him in the leg. Hey, I don't know why I couldn't take a shot faster than that. It ruined my second shot. Or did it stop me shooting when I was actually going to kill him? All right, well, now I feel bad about it. All right. Wasted some ammo. That's fine. We'll manage. We'll do. Oi, dickhead. Get the hell back here. I want to find out where the thing I ride went. I'm not talking about a girlfriend either. Oh, God. 
Uh, I might have to kill you. Hey, all right, come here. Easy. That's not really easy, dude, but all right. Just a casual decapitation, if you don't mind. Fire Axe apparently doing some pretty good stuff. Hey, bud. How are ya? Ow. No. There you go. See, I'm the one who's supposed to be taking parts off you. You're supposed to be nibbling off your fingers. The, um... The reason I didn't want the, uh, the cutscene, by the way, is because YouTube is very particular about, like, videos having the same footage. So cutscenes, <coughs> cutscenes are, um, by definition, the same thing. So I try to avoid them where I can and just kind of explain the, um, exposition that happens in them. Oh, God damn it. So the less cutscenes, the better. Uh, listen, can I just have my bike back? I don't, or do I have to kill you all? If I walk over there, they're going to shoot me or do I have to, like, go stealth into this place? Let's just see if we can go say hello. Hello? Hello? Copeland's camp. Martial law in effect. Yeah, that's fine. I would just like my bike. I'll be on my way. Some son of a bitch stole my bike. Uh-huh. Nothing about that. Don't believe you. <laughs> hmm. I think I should have gone the other way. Yeah, I should have just killed man. everyone instead. All right. Apparently, I wasn't actually supposed to murder everyone because it turns out I could um turn in my bounties here, which is good. Sell, oh, it's a sell all. Sell all. Give me all them yes. dollar redos. You do the Copeland's camp, 59 the trust. They trust me more. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Can you, like, trust me enough to give me like, a bike, please? Uh, I know you say you don't know anything about it. I don't believe you even uh, one iota. Oi, old mate. Bike, hey, where Manny. is it? I mean, some dumb son of a bitch left it out in the shit. Rusted up good. Saw Leon the other day. Yeah. He was bringing me something. Is that right? You find his stash. You bring it to me. To me, Deke, you want to do business in my camp? You start doing some runs for me. Poop. Ah, shit. Okay. I'm here anyway. What do you got? Right. I have some bad news. Old man Potato Scarface over here is Copeland. So this is his camp and everyone here works with him, apparently. He's kind of mad about that Leon dude that I shot on the riverbed the other day. How do I get out of your bloody patio here, dude? Can I take some of these guns? Got some nice guns. I'd like to have some of those. They seem like pretty good zombie killing weapons, if you ask me, rather than booting about with a baseball bat. So he runs this place and he wants me to do jobs for him. Pretty standard fare for games like this. You know, hey, it's a camp. Earn favor by doing shit. Fair a bloody enough. But the problem is that these little scoundrels, these little bludgers, these bread roll eaters, knack it out me bike. Oh, God, that's a real big gun. Can I have your gun? What you got? Oh, Jesus! Sure. Yep, that, that's what I'll do too. Stick the M60 on the bloody top of the wall. That's a really bloody good time. What are you guys even worried about then? Got one bitch up top with more ammo than she knows what to do with. You're never going to have a zombie problem. But yeah, look at my bike. This is my bike. They took it all apart. They ruined it. They scrapped it all. I'm not happy about it. Not happy about it one little bit. So this is the bike I have now. This is the pile of scrap old better potato over here scrapped together to try and appease me because I was about to murder him for scrapping my bike before. It's a shame. But that's right. You know, it's transportation. It's burning dinosaurs to make loud noises and not much horsepower, actually. Drifting. While accelerating, tap R to, uh, with RT. Tap B to perform a drift. Drifting while turning can help take corners quicker. That is absolutely not what drifting does. Drifting is slower than taking a corner properly. You know, slowing down, taking it wide, lessening the angle and powering out. But you know what? Fine. Let's do it. Lost bike. If you've lost your bike, either at the bottom of a lake or somewhere off a cliff, glad to know who they're talking to, or in the fastest of the, fa of the farewell wilderness, um, and are still close to it, you could use the map to recover it to a nearby location. Gotcha. So if I bin this shit into a dirt pile somewhere, Ooh, you'll get it out of for me again. That works. That works for me. Anything to make sure that I don't have to, like, fish it out of a well, that's fine for me too. Yeah. Yeah. Drifting. Drifting like I'm calling him now. All the zombies are super impressed. I'm, uh, not too sure what the right way to go. I assume it's taking a lot of the tarmac roads is the ideal plan. Let's go to the map. So I've just come from Copeland's camp. I need to go to that one, I guess. What's this one? Gear up for the rides. So that's how to improve my motorcycle. It gives me more parts for the trash heap I'm currently riding the bouts. Nero checkpoint. What are you? That's our lookout. That's good. And that's... Oh, we've already been there. That's the place. Got to go clear out the nests over at the old mechanics. All right, fair play. Yeah, there's also some fuel out there. I'll keep that in mind as well. I assume that is the way I need to go, though. Thank God GPS apparently still works, even in the apocalypse. Jump on you. Got to do a U-banger. That's all right. Don't mind me, everyone. There we go. There we go. All right, we're off. We're making a damn old ruckus, but that's all right. Horsepower over zombie power every day of the week. 
This looks like the joint. This bike definitely is not quick. It is not breaking any pace records. That's for damn sure. Uh-oh. Uh, I probably came up here too fast and too eagerly. You're fine. Is there a big horde around here somewhere? Might be in a whole lot of trouble. Do you know where I am? Yes, you do. Ow, that's the wrong bloody button. I pressed, I pressed X to try melee. I don't even know what game that's from. I can't tell you why in my brain X is punched, but apparently I tried it and it didn't bloody work anyway. What are we doing? Oh, there's some more. That's all right. Go stealthy, boys. Just scope out the area. This is it. The nearer checkpoint. I gotta find some just shit. Just pull out your gun for some... What did you pull out your gun for? I didn't tell you to do that. Just fucking calm your farm, dude. Just trying to sneak up on old mate here and see if I can put him down. Stay away from my bike, dude. You want to went through to get that bike back? No. Not for you. Not for anyone. It's barely even for me. I'm not even happy about having it. You can't have it either. Uh, swarm here. That's fine. I can still hear some gargling, but I think we're all right for the moment. Let's not get too brave just yet, though. Can't take any gunpowder, apparently. Just take your time, Josh. Take your time and scout it out. You'll find something eventually. I think I'm here for painkillers for old my Bernie boy upstairs. <laughs> Probably have a bit more compassion for my burn brother. That's um, my bad, dude. I'm still trying to get used to the crossbow and like how fast the bolts actually move. That's yeah. better. So there is a fair bit of drop on them. Even just like, what, 20 meters away? Got to use like the bottom notch on the, um, on the reticle, which... I mean, it's all right. As long as I get used to it eventually, I can de once I'm used to it, I can really do anything with it. Where'd you go? Can I pull my bolt back out of your face, though? I'm running a little bit shy on bolts, and I wouldn't mind a couple of extras. So just to, like, continue on the trope after trope of every zombie game ever, my mission moment is to turn back on the power, which seems like a great idea until you realize it's a generator, and generators are loud, and loud brings zombie, and I don't really particularly feel like fighting a gigantic horde of zombies. So... I do need gas for it, actually. Or is it going to... Oh, there's gas there. There's gas on the back of that truck. That'll do me nicely. Got to do what I got to do. But I'd like to say now, before this all goes to shit, that I think this is a bad idea. Put all the gas in. I assume I didn't need 100% gas, but sure, whatever. You're fully fueled up. Start the generator. I'm, I don't want to, but I'm going to have to. I can still hear the, like, the calling in the distance. This is a bad idea, dude. It's a bad idea. Bad idea. Damn it. Can I go up the top? There we go. Up the top. Just try to figure out where the hell we are before we deal with all the zombies ever coming for us. Yeah, he looks mad. He looks mad. That's all right. Go investigate the radio. I'm not here. You don't even know where I am. It's fine. You're fine. Look, I'll do you a favor. It's all okay. It's all okay. Nothing to worry about. You can go back and have your nap now. It's all nice and quiet. Just quickly go put a bolt through your skull. Do the same for your friendo over there. There we go. That's my last bolt, though. So now it's down to my pistol. Suddenly, like, figure out as well how to actually change weapons reasonably quickly, which is so much better. That was not even close to a headshot, but I will take it. We're good. We're fine. Everyone's happy. All right, nice. I need to find some more, like, shrubbery around here. Someone might some more crossbow bolts, because I can do that. Drop down. Nice. I wish I could take him back, though. I only shot you in the temple. Give me my throwing stick back. So with the power on, I assume now I can get into this place. Yep, doesn't look like a place I really want to be, sterile but I'm bandages, sterile bandages, here anyway. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this. It's, like, it's giving me like, giving me the tingles like bloody Alien Isolation did way back in the day. Surely I've got enough first aid kits now that one of these things is going to have to have some sterile bandages in it. You're just going to jump scare me, aren't you? You're just going to bloody jump scare me. I don't like it. I bloody hate jump scares. I hate them so bloody much. I really don't want it. Please just be nice to me. Our unit is getting ready to pull oh, it's like a voice recorder. Okay, now I'm really getting some other isolation vibes. Before I do the thing it obviously wants me to do, I'm going to search old Mad Potato over here. What you got? IPCA tech. Can I take like the gas mask or something? I mean, it didn't really serve you any good, but it might serve me some good. Never know when things might go even worse than they already are. Aerosol zombie swarms or something. Oh, all right. I think that's everything here. Let's go trigger the next event. Oh, that's not, I just don't want it. I just don't want yes, it. Sterile bandages. Just you said that we even opened the box. I just got to get this back to Boozer. Oh, well, Come on. Well, well, go faster. Ooh, what is this? Nero injector. It can be found inside Nero mobile medical units at Nero checkpoints. Using to permanently increase your health and stamina and my focus. So it's just straight up drugs. All right. I gotcha. Give me 
Stamina. Injector. Give me stamina. Okay. Yeah, sure, dude. Just find a random injector in a random box. Just shove it straight in ya. What's the worst gonna happen? There's a gigantic in, uh, infection. A plague has taken over the planet. Just shoot shit in your veins. You'll be fine. I assume that's all that I needed from here. So let's, uh, in fact, hang on. Was there any gas left in that gas can? Or was it like, is the gas can the perfect measurement for either a bike or a generator? And you can't have one without the other. One of these things cannot go the other. Give me the gas back, please. I just want to see if there's anything left inside you. All right, you don't have to crouch anymore. You killed everyone. You? How do I know if you've got fuel left in you? I don't... I don't actually know. I don't actually know, but that's okay. I'll try and put it in the bike all the same. Can you guzzle up? Guzzle. Guzzle. Fuel tank. There you go. There you go. More fuel, the better. Happy days. Thirsty girl. All right, let's head back to Boozer. Excuse me, just gonna go like this and spin around there because there was a sweet drop I really want to take. That way, that way, hit the gap. Nice, Gary, nice, Gary, nice, Gary. Look at that, how's that for some skill points? Landing damage. When landing, you can reduce the damage done to your bike by using L to angle your tires parallel to the ground. Landing from a high jump will always damage your bike. So, was that just like, did you just tell me not to have any fun? It's like, Josh, I know you're in, out. Fuck, sorry. I know you're enjoying yourself. I know you're out here catching some air and, you know, actually trying to have some fun in this abomination of a world. But stop it. You're not allowed to do that. You're not allowed to have fun anymore. You just pipe down and get home safely and calmly with no damage to your bike. I do hope that there's a part of this game, like, later on, when it's less exposition and cinematic heavy, where it's just like, you know, you just learn through the game rather than having your hand held and having the story told to you all the time. I do hope there's something like that further on down the track, because while you're not, like, a part of that kind of game, when you're, you know, out and about, out, I tried to break, but the brakes don't work on the mud. When you're out and about and just doing all these things, let me park you inside, hey, that's probably smarter. Uh, the game's actually a lot of fun. I really quite enjoy it. Can I reverse? There you go. Let's put you inside. Just like that. There we go. May as well keep our bike safe, seeing as apparently there's a bunch of scavengers out who will take any nice motorcycle and tear up the shreds just for shits and giggles. Boozy boy, how you doing? I've come back with the sterile bandages. I've got 17 health kits, but you did one thing in particular. I'm ready to go. Can I fix your glove? Here you are. Bud, you alive? Hey, you still around? Have you given That's any more thought to my cooked steak bait idea? I'll lop it off and I'll feed it to a zombie. I don't think it gave it much attention. Boozer. You dead? Or are you just having a nap? Hey. He's just having a nap. Oh, You'd probably a bit shit. more uh, careful that way can we do with the gun. He knows he had the gun. He insists on keeping it. Uh, just uh, just calm down a little bit. People like to sleep sometimes. It's the middle of the night. Mission complete. Lots of experience points. Lots of things. He Oh, here's my brother. So I couldn't tell if he was just calling him brother like affectionately because he's like his best friend or like brother because he's his brother. Although now he's, I, I don't know. I still don't know. Jury's still out on that one for me. Do I, there's a little like sleep icon here. Do I need to sleep? Does that like make me better at everything else if I have a cheeky kip? I don't know, let's try it. Let's have a nap. Sleeping, use bunker safe locations like bunkers or the safe house to sleep in advanced time. Some challenges like infestations can be approached differently depending on the time of day. Additionally, progress can be saved when near a bunk. So oh, I'm just gonna close my eyes. does it not actually affect gameplay at all? It's just like a, like a time skip. I mean, okay, that's fine with me. I want to get rid of the rain and the night and the fogs. So if it could just be a nice, clear, calm, sunny day, that would be pristine for me. Nope, still foggy as a ball sack. All right, never mind then. I tell you what though, like some of the gameplay mechanics aside, this game is absolutely gorgeous. It's ridiculous. It shouldn't look this good. How do games look this good these days? I remember back in the days of like four pixels running around and that counting as a game. But now you got stuff like this, so much nicer. It's incredible how good this game looks actually. Um, is there anything around? I do need to actually, can I fix my bike? I had too much fun, did too many jumps. B, can I fix you? I have scrap. There you go. Fix it on the fly. Man, what can't this boy do? I may as well just push on to the next one. 0% ambush camp hunter. Okay, no starving tourists. Locate the Cascade Radio Tower and ambush the camp. All right, sounds good to me. Let's hop on the old girl and head on out there. I used, wow, I used a quarter of a tank driving 13 feet from that Nero checkpoint back to my safe out. Oh, camera, can you just, can the camera just face forward, please? That would be lovely if I could actually see where I'm, where I'm driving. That's a gate, didn't move. That's your own damn fault. Uh, this way, that's a rock. Oh, for goodness sake. I know it's slippery, but... Figure out some traction somewhere. Come on, do better. 
I'm less than 100 meters away, and I kind of don't want to do what I did last time, where I just like barreled in, bullet a gate, and got myself in some trouble. So I might even just go like here. Kind of just like leave my bike in the bushes. Is that kind of stealthy? No one will follow. No, don't fix the bike. Crouch in the bushes, you pelican. There you go. That's why I wanted to crouch. I'm immediately in trouble because I was over here tinkering my bike when I should have been doing anything else. Shoot him in the face, for God's sake, please. All right, this is going badly. So much for stealth. This is... <laughs> I wanted this to go so much differently. This is not how I wanted this to go down at all. Damn it, bike. I'm very much like... Oh, that's a good shot. To steal some of your guns. The silence pistol is great and stuff, but I think one of you guys had an AK, and I would like to deprive your corpse of that and use it for my own nefarious means. Regaining stealth. Okay, if you've been spotted by an enemy, get out of the line of sight and hide. Eventually, I'll give up the search. I, I haven't moved yet, but they seem to have, like, wardened off and gone to other places. That's good for me. I do have that rifle, but oh, I swear old man had an AK. Did you? Bandages? No. Where's your AK, dude? There it is. Oh, I want it. I want it. It could be fun just to go really out and out. Give me that. Give me that. Nice. The rifle can wait for me later. I'll come back for you, baby, I swear. But right now, I want to go and eviscerate some Jeffs. I did just realize, though, there's only like four rounds in the magazine for the AK. So probably not a great decision to go rolling with that one. The rifle is probably the better option. Let's just try and stick to the outskirts for a moment. Keep our eyes on the prize in the middle. We'll see if there's any other Muppets cruising about asking for a death wish. Like shooting McShoot face. Anyone? Nope, no one around. Let's get to the high ground. High ground is always better. The more visibility we get, the better we're going to be. And fortunately for me, they saw me coming and put a bunch of chest high walls around, even on the roofs, just to be a cow behind. Very, uh, very considerate of them. Ooh. All right, that's less considerate of them. Jesus. They, uh, seem to have figured out where I am. And that's a bit of a problem. Let's go real quick. Let's run this way and just, like, jump off the edge like it's a freaking action movie and go and take some cover somewhere. Boy, that's some good timing. Turns out they burned the bloody building down around me. Uh, can I go then? Let's use the rifle. Easy. Oh, can I get a fucking twofer? Oh, just get in front of me and cop my hot load of lead. Oh, that was fantastic. I didn't even know that I could do that, but I'm glad that I figured it out. That was amazing. You need to die, though. Someone's just shooting me in the back. I need you to die quick as you have an AK. Ooh. Ooh, that's just rude. That's heckin' rude, Josh. I'm loving doing it to you. Hey, bud. Aw, oh, damn it. What have we got? We've got a sword off. Uh, lots of damage. Rate of fire is down. Instead of my rifle. Probably not a bad idea because I am getting in slightly more closer combat than I would like. Don't have much shotgun ammo, but I'll keep it in my it is for later. There's another AK. How much ammo do you have? Just as much as... God. How are you guys in such big gun battles with me all the time, but none of you are carrying any ammo at all? Ooh. Already have that, but I'll take the slightly nicer one. It's got an extra 10%. Can't, like, dual wield them, go around like I'm a freaking whippersnipper, and just decapitate Jeffrey's left and right? That would be pretty bloody cool, actually. Up. Up you go. There's one more clown up here. Oi! I'm sorry. What? I thought I killed everyone. I was out here just having a lovely time exploring the whole camp. And you guys want to come over and pick a fight with me? I mean, it's fine. I don't mind. But I'm going to have to come see you with my brand new shotgun. Where is it? No, that's crossbow. Shotgun. Oh, come meet me. The oh shit shotgun's about to have a new friend. It's got to be me. And you're its new victim. Where are you, bud? Where are you, bud? Yeah, keep on running around. You probably shouldn't have said anything. I didn't know where you were. You didn't die from that? You caught two in the chest and you're still up and about? Rude. All right, let's go back to the pistol because the pistol is my best friend. Put one of your chops. Put one of your girlfriend's chops. How many men are you pissed off? Pistol or nothing. Pistol or nothing. Ooh. Pistol or this one, maybe. Oh, is that the same as the last rifle? No, this one definitely had a magazine on it. But did my last one? I thought my last one was a bolt action. Maybe I just got that wrong. I did just realize that my, um, my pistol no longer has its suppressor on it. Its oil can is gone. That's already been hacked apart. All right, fair enough. I'm hoping we're going to find like another engine base somewhere that might have another oil can for me. There's some gas. That's fine. Apparently, we're not Mad Max because there's petrol freaking everywhere. Would have thought after three years of the apocalypse, petrol uh, resources might be pretty limited, but apparently not. Every every and his dog has gas cans aplenty. This has got to be can the I just fix? Just fix? Boy, this guy can just do everything. Fixing bikes on the fly, okay. fixing electrical systems, refueling generators... Bloke's just off his face with technical knowledge. 
I feel a little bad. Oh man, that guy's dead with his eyes open. Oh, what happened to you? All right, now I feel really bad. Can I like, can I do the world a favor? I've got a, a fair amount of pistol ammo. So like, can I go? I can. There you go. There you go. You can't rest in peace when you're strung up like a herd of cattle. Can't search ya, nothing on ya, that's fine. At least I did my duty to like mankind. Now, just because the world has gone to shit doesn't mean we have to go to shit to match it. You know, we can still have some sort of empathy. Listen a little bit. So I felt bad about eviscerating all the organs of the clown who came at me the other day. You know, I put my knife straight into his lungs and twisted it all about like it's a freaking internal hokey pokey. I felt bad about that, you know? Gotta have, gotta have some sort of sensibility left. We can't be monsters like the monsters of some moral lesson. I don't know. Who am I, what am I talking about? The game sent me up to the tippy top of the tower just to teach me how to climb ladders, I suppose. But also, it means I get to check out the view. Is that my house over there? Yes. I'm starting to feel like this world is a little bit small. Like, if I feel like, given this place was infested with Jeffries and there was a lot more of them than me and old Betty Potato Bernie Boy over there, I feel like it would be like, you know what, let's go fuck those idiots up. We can see them from here. We get the old binos out and just see when they're having a kip. Look, all the way in. We can absolutely see when things are happening over there. Silly. Heckin' bloody silly. What a terrible place for a base camp. Maybe up on top of a hill being all like, um, super not superfluous. What's the word I'm looking for? Ah, oh, come on. Brain. Words, please. Conspicuous. Conspicuous is the word I was looking for. Maybe being on top of the mountain over there and being conspicuous as fuck probably isn't a super duper great idea. But that aside, where am I headed now? What do you want from me? Is my mission done? Are you, are you like happy with me now? Can I go back home and see what's going on or have to go back to Copeland's camp? Can I fast travel bike is too far? Oh, there's fast travel. Interesting. So I can fast travel the locations I've been to before. Approach the ladder. There we go. Down we go. Can I like slide? Nope. Got to go the normal way. Also, sliding down the ladder seems so easy and because you see everyone doing it ever. It's really bloody hard to do. I mean, I've only tried it a couple of times and fucked myself up every time I try. It's not that I don't do it anymore. Just assume it's like like that and any sort of like fun physical activity now that I'm getting older, my knees are shot. Just aren't really my wheelhouse, you know? Ooh, a map. Yeah, this is handy. I'll take a map. Is that going to like... Up. Yeah, at night. I was going to say, is that going to like expand my map even more or is that just like the end of the mission? That was the end of the mission. I came all this way, ambush camp, which is telling me what the uh, what the map is unlocked for me. Apparently, a recipe to put nails through a bat as well. <laughs> all right, fair enough. Then can I can I make one of those straight off the bat recipes? New discovered and crafted recipes shown in the survival wheel. Okie dokie. Well, fortunately, here's a baseball bat. There's some nails, almost like it wanted me to do it straight off the bat. <laughs> off the bat. You. Make I me the craft a spike bat. Nice, Gaza. Now we can really spatter some noggins. So is this like, is this place like a home away from home now? It's like a safety bunker for me wherever I end up. I can come here, have a nap on the couch. Got a gun locker. All right, guess this place is mine now. Fair a blood enough then. Up we go. Do I just have to go back home now? Now that I've done the stuff. I don't know why I was turning on the radio tower. I assume Cobra wanted me to do it, but like, is that actually helping me like, fix my bike or save my brother? Is it really that important? Must be, because it wants to go back up there again. Is someone like waiting for me up here? Also, there's a lot of like thunder and shit. A lot of lightning in the distance. Maybe being on the tallest metal structure in the valley isn't the greatest idea for you there, bud. <laughs> Are we spying on our brother now? There we go. Look, right. we're already, we're already sussed it out. I see smoke from their campfire. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Did you need the binos to see the gigantic plume of smoke out there? No. I could see that with one of my eyes closed. I could see that with my brown eye. That's how freaking obvious it is. The eye of my doodle would scope that in way more quickly than the binos did. All right, I'm coming. I'm coming. Don't worry. We're fine. Everybody just relax a little bit. Annoyingly, I can't grab all the guns. The loot fiend inside me is still like, hey, there's loot to be gotten. You should loot everything and take it with you if you can. But I can't pick up all the guns, like the AKs and the shotguns and store them in the gun safes. They just, they, they just get left out in the, in the elements. Get left out to rust and be made completely useless, which is a sh damn waste and a damn shame, but not much I can do about it. The game forbids me from storing those things safely. <laughs> just just yeet the gas can. It's fine. We don't need that or anything. We don't need to like, you know, make sure it's held the right way up so all the precious dinosaur fluid inside it stays inside it. Take some of you. I'll grab you. Go reform my bike again. Then we can head back to Old Man Potato. We can call it a day. The weather's getting pretty ominous. So can I... Let's try out this fast travel thing. So now that I've got... I'm sitting next to my bike. It wants me to head over to... 
a camp near my camp. Here we go. Fast travel. Fast travel costs. It cost me a quarter of a tank of gas and 35 minutes a day. So what it would have cost me to drive there anyway. Confirm. That's fine. No punishment. No cost of fast traveling. Well, no, like excessive cost anyway. I will actually jump on you nice and quick because I want to pull you back inside the compound. I have no idea if like I'm supposed to do that or not, but I feel like it's probably pretty good practice to keep my apparently super duper important bike nice and safe inside my uh, my compound over here. Oh, what a successful day. Got a spiky bat, got a crossbow, murder the bunch of Jeffries. Can't we ask for a better day than that? Hey, I mean, we did get fucked up a little bit, but we could do better on that front. I think... How you doing, bud? Oh, look at your bandaged arm. See, you're fine. You're fine. What are you even worried about? You went through more pain than that when you got your scalp tattooed. Also, fair play to you keeping your, your, your head nice and cleanly shaved to show off your sweet tat in the middle of the apocalypse. I don't want to know how many times we've been to the ghost somewhere that zombies beating down the door and you're in a bathroom with foam covering your head. But you know what? It's fine. If you got through that, <laughs> the old noggin job, then you can definitely get through that one as well. We'll be A-OK. -okay. But I think I'll have to leave this episode here for the moment. I really like where this is going. I really like where day, uh, Days Gone is taking itself. It's good fun. Now we're starting to get a better hang of the controls and using a controller was definitely a good decision. A bit more like easier to control and like get like when you're fighting and stuff like that once i figured out how to actually get back into melee i wish there was a, like, a quick button to pull out my baseball bat when things really did hit the fan the last thing i need to do when i'm getting charged down by a zombie is be fumbling about with my 14 guns and i'm pulling out a big stick of death and bonking some noggins but i'll have to come back and continue my journey in today's gone in another episode because this episode is done so thank you guys for watching most of all thank you to the patrons of patreon who made this episode possible if y'all like to make sure you hit the like button down below and subscribe to this channel follow me on twitter if i don't talk to you there first i'll see you in the next episode have a good one